Today I'd like to show you an old cream song called Lottie Mama, version 2 from Disraeli Gears. Actually, I think they took the bed track from this and turned it into their hit song, Strange Brew. I've simplified the lick a little bit, so if you go listen to it, you go, well, it's not quite right. But I uh, left out a couple ticky-tacky things because um, we're moving around the neck to get from chord to chord. The reason I thought this was worth learning, um, well, it sounds kind of cool. It's a 12 bar that you can jam on is because we can play in the key of A while we're tuned to G, but it actually works to our advantage because we can do the lick down here. One, I'm using my third finger, then high string open, hammer to two. I think there's a double hammer on the record, like that. And if you want to fit that in, that'd be great, and it does sound cool but we're going to be moving around the neck a lot. If I didn't mention it, I'm tuned to open G. G, D, G. We're playing in the key of A, second fret. So it's a neat opportunity to play the lick sort of lower than the chord. And all the chords are played with the same rhythm. Boom, boom, whack. It's a quick change blues, so that means you do one measure of the one chord. Then you go to the four chord, which is on the seventh fret in this case, and it's a D. Back to the riff, to the one chord. One chord again, riff again. Back to the four chord on the seventh fret. Riff again. So you see what I mean? We have to really move up there. That's why I simplified the lick a little bit. So two more one chords, as in most 12 bar blues. Then we go do the lick. Then we go up to the uh, five chord, which is on the ninth fret, but we're gonna do a seventh chord. A lot of different numbers there. Nine, nine, seven. This forms E7. And if you can, go back down and do the lick. It's quite a ways away. And then you go to D7, which is seven, seven, five. Like that. Now the song itself, if you're playing along with it and you want to jam with it, and it's uh, it's totally doable because it's not that fast and it's long enough where you can mess around. The arrangement is when the guitar is soloing, they don't do the quick change. It just stays on the one. For the four times and then goes through the rest of the 12 bar. But when the vocals are there, it's the quick change. The one chord to the four chord on the seventh fret. Back to the one chord. Now, if you want to jam with this, of course, and you've been learning everything in G, now you're in A. So your pentatonic scale becomes this. And if you're using the blues scale, you add that note there. Or, of course, this note here. And this note's in the scale. And this note is too. That's the same as that note. So I'm sort of thinking of moving what you know up here. Of course, this note here is the same as this string open. This note here, same as that string open. So if this string open is in the scale, and this one is, you can actually look at it like this. Right, there's that same note, so if you go to two here. is it gives you uh, by thinking about the pentatonic scale that way even though this is still your root 
it gives you a chance to come up to the root and to find different licks if you're used to going to this you could drop down which in this song you're right in the uh, range of the song the song's lick you might actually want to raise that up up to there anyway i hope i haven't confused you too much and that you have a lot of fun with that have a great day